fasten a ship. When you see this ship for the first time, you don't immediately understand what it actually is and why it has such a strange shape, but it's simply a ship that looks like a zipper. The original idea belongs to Japanese artist Yasuhiro Suzuki, who is famous for taking inspiration from everyday life. In 2002, he was on a plane looking down at the water and noticed that ships move along the water like zippers. By 2004, that unusual thought became an art project. It gained wide public attention in 2020 when the ship became part of the Design Art Tokyo 2020 exhibition and sailed on the Sumida River crossing in Tokyo. This location was not chosen by chance either. Historically, the Sumida is the border between the provinces of Musashi and Shimusa, and the ship gliding on its waters is a reminder of this. Turinor Planet Solar in the 21st century, people have become much more focused on alternative energy sources. For example, the world's largest solar-powered ship was built 11 years ago. The launch took place on March 31, 2010. In May 2012, Planet Solar became the world's first solar-powered ship to circumnavigate the globe. It is a Swiss project, founded by researcher Raphael Domian. It was built by the Knie Rim shipyard in Kiel in Germany. The gigantic vessel is 101 feet long. Compared to other boats, this one has a flat design, and for a good reason. Its 5,780 square feet are covered with solar panels, with a combined capacity of 93.5 kilowatts. To enable the vessel to store energy and move even in adverse weather, the ship carries 12 tons of lithium-ion batteries. The aerodynamic hull tested in a wind tunnel allows the vessel to reach up to 10 miles per hour. Spymaster Mini Submarine Today, it's no longer necessary to wear a tight wetsuit and take diving lessons in order to enjoy the beauty of the underwater world. Here is a tiny personal submarine for underwater trips, developed by Spymaster. The design of the vehicle reminds us of a scooter. The passenger just takes a seat and holds the steering wheel. Next, they put on a helmet connected to a hose. This is a continuous supply of air from land. This helmet provides optimal visibility and at the same time allows you to breathe comfortably, even without the mouthpiece. During the ride, the driver can freely control the underwater submarine. The depth is controlled by a cylinder attached to the hull. The steering wheel is responsible for maneuvering, and the best part is that the duration of the dive reaches 60 or even 80 minutes. And since the battery is removable, this time can be doubled or even tripled. Walhalla. We talk about motorhomes on the channel all the time. However, houseboats are much rarer, but we did find one for you. The 69-foot vessel with the majestic name Walhalla was built in 2012, commissioned by an elderly couple from the UK. What sets it apart from all other vessels is its original design. The hull, for example, is all steel and inspired by the 007 movies. The interior, on the contrary, is very traditional with only natural materials. Walhalla has a fully-fledged recreation area, a kitchen, a study, a bedroom, a dining room, and even a library and two bathrooms. Since it was built as a house, all the appliances and electronics needed for comfort can also be found on board. Four years ago, it was offered for sale and was valued at $220,000. Onean Carver X 
If you prefer something lighter and more affordable, you'll love this surfboard with an electric motor. It allows you to ride fast on the water without worrying about the lack of waves. The Carver X from the Spanish company Onion was designed with great attention to aerodynamics, so it easily reaches 28 miles per hour. The two built-in batteries are enough for 40 minutes of autonomous riding at mixed speeds. An additional advantage is the ability to choose one of the five power levels, and overall, a fairly flexible range of settings. They are selected using the remote, which also allows you to control the Carver X remotely. Perhaps the only disadvantage is the weight limit of the rider, which is 187 pounds. The vehicle costs $12,000. Iguana Pro Interceptor Rib The next transport we're going to tell you about could be in a James Bond movie, and not only because of its appearance. The Interceptor Rib is a special 33-foot vessel developed by the specialists from Iguana Pro to cope with the most complex and risky tasks. It's ideal for surveillance and reconnaissance, high-speed target interception, infiltration, evacuation, rescue and first aid missions. Interceptor Rib is an amphibious vehicle that switches between land and water use in seconds. The ship is helped by crawler platforms, which, by the way, cope with the most different types of surfaces, such as mud, sand, gravel, and even rocks. They allow the vehicle to move even on 22 degree slopes. Interceptor Rib's reinforced carbon fiber hull, combined with an impact absorbing design, protects passengers from injury. The vessel can withstand 9G impacts and accelerate to 57 miles per hour in less than two minutes. Wokart. If you think that from the outside, this catamaran looks like a go-kart, you would be right. The Wokart was specifically designed so that its performance plus the weight-to-power ratio would be similar to a go-kart. The manufacturer calls this product a revolutionary vehicle. This is the first patented designer watercraft in the world with a mid-mounted outboard engine. The special design makes the Wokart so maneuverable that it's even able to make high-speed turns of 90 degrees. The asymmetric layout in combination with the 70-horsepower motor guarantees a high performance and a top speed of 46 miles per hour. The catamaran was designed in Switzerland, while a whole international team worked on the realization of the idea. Himiko Waterbus The last vehicle on our list today was designed by the famous Japanese artist Leiji Matsumoto. You can see this model in the rivers of Tokyo right now, as it belongs to the local transportation company Tokyo Cruise Ship and works as a river bus. These ships are an alternative to land-based public transport for city residents. But it's not difficult to guess why Himiko is very popular, especially among tourists. Its unusual futuristic design is eye-catching, and its streamlined silver metal body was clearly inspired by a spaceship. Himiko has a capacity of 78 passengers. Its travel time, according to the planned route, is about one hour, and the ride costs between $9 and $18. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.